Hey guys, welcome back to Portable Entrepreneur. Did you realize that you can actually use artificial intelligence to write content for you? Whether you need content for your agency website, for clients' websites, for income sites, you actually can use artificial intelligence instead of having to spend hours upon hours writing the content yourself, staring at a blank screen, instead of having to outsource the process or go through what seems like an endless process of hiring writer after writer. You basically get to use an automated copywriter that writes high quality content for you and sounds just like a human. I mean, where was this when I was in college? This software is powered by GPT-3 from OpenAI and it uses natural language processing to be able to write content like a human. And there's many different companies who are offering this, like Conversion AI, Copy AI, and Shortly. And what I wanna do is be able to show you what this actually looks like to be able to use artificial intelligence to create copy. This can be used for social media posts, for paid ads, blog posts, whether you're creating topics or you need an outline or you need the actual blog post created. You want to create headlines or meta tags. You wanna actually get those titles and descriptions written for SEO purposes. You need emails written or subject lines, even your lead magnets. You're gonna be able to do this all inside. So for this example, we're gonna use Conversion AI and I wanna show you what this looks like to be able to create a whole variety of content really, really quickly. So here we are at Conversion AI. If you don't already have an account, you can simply click on Get Started or sign up to create an account just to go in and be able to check this out. Once you are all signed up, you will be taken here to the dashboard. And as you can see, we got a lot of templates here. So this is going to give us an overview of all of the different templates that they have. But you'll see there are also several different categories here. We have some of the different marketing frameworks. So if you really want to pinpoint what the problem is, what the solution is being offered by the particular business or website that you're working on, what the action is that you want your readers or your visitors, your customers to take next. These are all really good frameworks for being able to really hone in on a good message and have really good copy that you can use. If you have a website that is an e-commerce store, this gives you a lot of content that you can use if you wanna really hone in on your product descriptions, make sure that they're really written to be able to sell more. And with all of these, what a great thing to do is be able to test the copy that you have now, assuming you have some copy, and then be able to test what this tool gives you as well. So you can see what is actually converting better. A lot of these really have a strong copy and you'll, you'll really be surprised looking at some of these. And so you, you may see your conversions actually start to increase as you use the copy here. So if you don't have the budget for a copywriter, or you, you just want to be able to get in and create your own content that is really well written, this is a great way to be able to do that. So for a lot of us looking at SEO, for example, if we want to get in, we want to have optimized blog posts, we want help with our titles and, and, and descriptions, all of that we're going to be able to do here. So let's say for an example, that we want to optimize a service page. We want to get those titles and descriptions created. What we can do is click in here. Now I put in here a, an example company name, a description of the service that's going to be provided and roof repair as the keyword here. So you notice that we have a character limit for all of these. So especially when you're looking at a description, the more that you give the tool here, the more that it has to work with and the more options it's gonna give you and you're just gonna see better results. So here I'm only using about a quarter of the characters that I could, so I could certainly expand on this to get even better options, but I'll use this as an example to show you here. So now down here at the bottom, we can select how many outputs that we want. This is how many versions of the, the copy, the title, and the meta descriptions we want them to give us. And then we can click on generate AI content. So as you can see, now we have our two options, both the title and meta description. So our goal here is really to get copy that's really good and it's really close, considering this to be 80 to 90% done for us. And then that allows us to go in and just tweak whatever we need to in order to get the best title and description that we, we can. So we can read through the description here when it comes to roof repair service in Dallas, Texas. Burr Roofing never turns away a chance to help our community. We have performed countless roof repairs 
for homeowners and businesses who are tired of leaks or broken shingles. As you can see, we need to say who are tired of leaks or broken shingles for affordable repair service call and we can insert the number there. So as you can see, there's a couple of small tweaks that we need, but there you go. We have a description. So this is super, super helpful, especially if you spend a lot of time just sitting there thinking like, what, what options do I have? Or if you want them to just spit out three, four, five options for you to be able to look at, this is really helpful so that you don't spend so much time just thinking about this, writing all these different versions yourself and seeing what works. This produces a great copy for you that you just need to tweak a little bit and then you are good to go. So you get a lot of copy done a whole lot faster. So if for instance, it takes you an hour to write through different uh, descriptions, now you can do that in a matter of minutes. If you are producing one blog post a week or one blog post a month, you could literally quadruple the amount of content that you are now putting out for your sites just by using something something like this. So if we go back here and look, we have all of these different options here. Let's actually jump back over here to the dashboard here and we can see some of these. So we have our blog post topic ideas. So if you're trying to come up with, well, what kind of topics can I write about? Well, then we can go there and it's going to give us a whole list of topics. If we need to create an outline, now that we have topics, let's come up with an outline for the actual content so we can come up with our ideas faster, get that content written faster. One thing that is really helpful with the tools here is being able to actually put together different templates to create a whole longer piece of a content. So I'll show you that here in just a moment. So we have our outline, we even have an intro paragraph. So let's say we wanna create an outline. So what I've done here is I've popped in a blog post title, how to fix a garage door that won't close properly. So let's say this is for a garage door repair company and we have a different tone of voice that we can use. We can use professional, we can use funny or clever, witty, angry, all types of a different tone. So it's up to you and in the site that you're writing for what works. In this case, we're going to go with professional. And again, we can select the number of outputs and click generate AI content. So there we go. Now we have two options for an outline. The first one is to give us the first one here gives us five different options for how to actually fix a garage door. And here we have four different options. So what we could do is we could combine some of these. We can use the different copy here and we can put together our final outline. So we can always click on this button right here to copy it. If we need to paste that into a document, which I'll show you here in just a second. So coming back over here to our dashboard here, we can also see that there are some of the paid ad options. If you are creating Facebook ads or Google ads, this is gonna help with that. We also have even Amazon products. So if you are selling products on your own website, also on Amazon, that's going to help create that. As you can see, we have website sub headlines. So this is really good for header tags. If we want to create a landing page and we want to go in and put in the topic, we've been working on our outline and we wanted to give us all the headlines that would be really good to include within that post. This is a very helpful tool for that as well. One tool that I like here is persuasive bullet points. So if you are really trying to sell someone on a particular product, on a particular service, trying to get them to book an appointment or to subscribe to an email list, having bullet points about the benefits and, and why they should really take that action. This is a really helpful tool to be able to come up with that. Now, if the business or the website also creates videos, this will help generate topics around a particular channel, around a particular topic or keyword. And it's gonna generate a whole list of topic ideas for you. It will help you create the script, the title, the description, all of that. These are things that if you go through this process, for instance, creating a video for a business to spend the time creating topic ideas so that those can be approved, actually scripting out what that video would be, creating the title, writing the description, creating call to actions. It can take hours and hours and hours to do even for a five minute video. So this tool really just helps condense hours and hours of work down into a very short amount of time here. Another tool that is really helpful here is the review responder. And this is because when reviews are left for businesses, they tend to be rather emotional. Uh, or if let's say a business owner is the one who is responding, if they are reading, let's say a negative review, then it can 
be very hard for the person to objectively respond uh, because they may feel upset, frustrated, angry. And we really have to make sure that we are responding in a very professional way that helps satisfy the needs of that particular customer or client and that it allows other customers to, to see that review, understand that the business owner is involved and working on whatever the problem is so that they don't lose out on any business. So here we're simply able to say what the star rating was, use a specific tone of voice, friendly or professional is really good here, uh, and then actually putting in what the customer view was and then generating a few options for what the response could actually be. Super helpful. Now, email subject lines, a lot of the times, whether these are for our own businesses or for clients' businesses, we're just coming up with a single subject line and just sending it out and hoping for the best. This is a great way that if you don't want to spend an hour coming up with all these different possible subject lines, you're able to just have this tool generate a list of ideas for you in a couple of seconds. And that'll really help you be able to craft a better subject line that's gonna get more opens because because more opens results in more conversions and more sales. So obviously very, very important, but something we don't always take the time to do. So again, we have company bio, personal bio, helping us craft those that, that copy that we don't always uh, like writing or it can be a little bit harder to come up with what to write there. So as you can see, there's so many things. They're continuing to add in some tools here based on a, a lot of feedback as well. One thing to look at here is as you come up to the top here and you click on content, you're going to be able to create your content inside of here. So if you use, like I would use Google Docs to create a lot of content, you're now basically able to use that right here inside the tool. So by clicking on new, it's going to give you two options, long form assistant. So if you really want help crafting out that whole blog post where you want to write out a long email or this is where you want to write a book for instance this long form assistant is where to go but what i want to show you is this blank document and this is where you can use the different elements that we talked about and create your document right here so you're able to click here to of course name your document so let's say what we wanted to create was the blog post. We can come over here to a blog post outline. And what we can do is let's say we really liked this first option. We can copy that, come over here, get that pasted in. And now we have started an actual blog post here. So let's say now we want to create an intro paragraph. We got our outline, we got our main bullet points there. So now we can pop over to our blog post and we can put in the actual product name or company name. So we'll put in Frank's Garage Repair. The audience is homeowners and the blog post title is five ways to fix a garage door that won't close. And on your tone of voice, we could leave as casual as they, as they had there, professional, and we can generate a couple of outputs here. And as you can see here, we can scroll down and we have two different options. Do you have a garage door that won't close? The most common reason for this is because the spring has lost its tension. If it's really cold outside and your garage door still won't shut, then it may be caused by ice buildup and so on. So again, we're going to go in here and, you know, we're trying to get this to 80 to 90% done and just allowing us to get something on the paper, getting some ideas, and then we can go in and just tweak it. And then we can use a, another template here to generate some more content, tweak it. So as you can see, we can take a piece of content that would take an hour to create and condense that here in two 15 minutes. So imagine in the time that you used to spend creating one post, you can now create four blog post. It is truly a time saver here. So we can copy this and we can paste this over here. And now we can just come in here and start doing a few edits. But as you can see, look how much content we've gotten on this piece of paper here in just a matter of a few seconds. So this is really why you want to consider using AI to start creating your content, to not have to spend so much time doing it yourself, to not have to spend so much time and money outsourcing this and going through a hiring process to get this done. So if you want to check this out, definitely use the link below. That will get you a bonus 10,000 words that you're able to create with content. So that is several extra blog posts that you'd be able to create every single month using that credit there. Hopefully you found this helpful. Hopefully this showed you something new that you didn't even know existed yet. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.